Welcome to Model Steam Engines and Boilers, Part 24. This video contains edited extracts from my series, How to Build a Model Steam Engine, and shows how to make the pulley that fits on the end of the crankshaft. This part is machined from cast iron using a casting. The video series, How to Build a Model Steam Engine, is not public. It's available for my Patreon supporters only. If you're already a Patreon supporter, all you have to do is type how to build a model steam engine into the search box. This will give you full access to the 35 parts of the original series. I will be adding more episodes to the series as soon as I get time. This video is heavily edited from one of the episodes. The original full episode is considerably longer and contains a lot more information. This video is well worth watching though, you will get the idea of what I'm doing quite easily. Machining the pulley. There are plenty of large parts in this engine, and quite a few small, almost insignificant parts. The pulley is quite an attractive part of a Stuart Victoria. It sits on the end of the crankshaft, just in front of the flywheel. The first thing to do is to clean up the casting. I removed the lump of moulding sprue with the bandsaw, and then finished it off on the belt sander. And now I'm starting the machining operation. The first thing I did was take a facing cut, and this will allow the rough casting to run true when it's reversed in the chuck. And here it is the other way around, and now I'm facing the other side. I'm only taking light cuts, but I'm making sure I get under the skin of the casting. I always enjoy machining parts like this because they're not critical. The actual fit of them is fairly critical, but the shape of them isn't, so you can have a bit of artistic license. However, I am following the drawing's dimensions. I've just used the micrometer to check the size of the centre part of the flywheel. And the centre part of this pulley needs to be exactly the same diameter as the centre part of the flywheel. So I'm checking it frequently with the micrometer so I get them both the same. This centre part of the pulley needs to be much shorter than this. So I can try the micrometer several times and if I go undersized right on the edge it doesn't matter because that part's going to be turned away. And now the inner part of the pulley is completed, it's time to drill the hole in the centre. First of all with the centre drill as usual. And then I drill the hole all the way through the casting using a drill that is one imperial size under 7 sixteenths of an inch. And unlike the flywheel, when I use the boring tool, just to show you how to use a boring tool, for this job I'm going to use a 7 sixteenths of an inch reamer, because it's simpler. And my golden rule for reaming, to get the hole to be an accurate size, is a slow feed and a slow speed. Some of the fundamental principles that I quote in these videos, I'm sure people disagree with, but I'm not talking about industry, full-size engineering with big machines, I'm talking about reaming a hole in a piece of cast iron in a home workshop on a very small lathe. So in what seems like no time at all, as I've been talking while I've been watching this, the ream has gone through the hole and we now have a perfectly sized 7 sixteenths of an inch diameter hole in the middle of the casting. And to double check this, I'll push the reamer through just one more time, and yes it seems fine to me. Now it's time to try the crankshaft in place and see how well it uh, doesn't fit. Oh dear, the crankshaft doesn't fit in this hole. And the reason that this crankshaft does not fit in this hole is because the crankshaft is half an inch in diameter not 7 sixteenths. What you're supposed to do is ream the hole in the flywheel and the hole in the pulley to 7 sixteenths of an inch in diameter and then machine the piece of mild steel down to 7 sixteenths of an inch. But I don't like the idea of that because a beginner is not going to get a very good finish on the shaft. You'll probably find the lathe tool isn't sharp enough and maybe your lathe isn't accurate enough so to play safe I'm going to use a half inch diameter crankshaft, which in itself is slightly stronger than a 7 sixteenths of an inch crankshaft as it's a tiny bit thicker. I'm going to buy a piece of silver steel from Blackgate's Engineering. Silver steel is more hard wearing and it's also precision ground to the exact size. I'm now turning the outside diameter of the pulley and as you can see I'm taking quite a deep cut. I'm getting right underneath the skin of the casting to remove all the shale and the sand and the mess. And at the moment I'm busy going down the grades of sandpaper. And here's a quick touch with the file to make sure the edges are not sharp. 
and I think it's looking quite good, that's shiny enough. Now it's time to put the grooves in it. The drawing shows three grooves in this flywheel and each of them are supposed to be an eighth of an inch deep. And what I'm doing here is using the existing lathe tool that I've been using throughout all these operations to just make some marks to show me where I need to put the grooves. I measured the mark in the centre and then I put the rest of the marks in by eye. This is a very small lathe tool that I found in a box in the workshop. So what I did was, I ground it to the shape I wanted it to be to make these grooves. It was originally a very small V tool, it's a carbide tip tool. I think I'll put this form tool in a safe place because it is going to be useful to have a tool that I can immediately fit to a holder that will make round bottom grooves. I could use a parting tool, but that would give flat bottom grooves and the drawing definitely shows round bottom grooves to take belts for driving accessories. To finish off the grooves I'm just using some medium sandpaper and then a final polish with some 400 grit wet or dry paper. All that's left to do now is to drill a 1 8 of an inch diameter hole through this part of the pulley. I can then tap the hole 4BA, fit a 4BA grub screw and this will securely hold the pulley to the crankshaft. Here's a tip that you might find useful. As this pulley has been fitted in a three jaw chuck, there are three sets of lines made by the jaws of the three jaw chuck and if you line up your centre drill with one of these it will be exactly in the centre of the main hole where the crankshaft goes. And once I fit the grub screw, here's the finished thing. I'm temporarily just going to sit this on the crankshaft so you can get the idea of how well it's going to look and to me it looks okay. So that's it for now, thanks for watching and I hope you found it useful. Please take the time to visit my main Steam Models website and click on the section of the website that says Video Playlists and by doing that you can find other videos that you may like to watch and by using the playlists you can actually watch the videos back to back.